I think we're gonna. I think we need to change uh, Nappy's nickname. Nickname. I don't think we can call her Nappy anymore. I think we got to call her Skittles. That fucking hair. I can't it's get past. Red. It. <laughs> I've been waiting for Dave to say something because last Somebody time he thought Somebody dip you in a bottle or something. I was. I was gonna. Very red. Right. I was going to send you a message the other day when you sent me that video that you made for me. Because uh, it was, I think it I was, had dyed it then. It too. was yeah. very popping. It was a yeah. very popping color. You look like Ghost Rider. It's it's the camera makes it I feel like even more red than I mean it's pretty bright in person. Yeah, no, that's it's pretty bright, bright, Brittany. You can talk about it like it's not. It is. Yeah, but it, it's not. <laughs> no, just, I said it is. It is no, bright, it, and it'll it, fade out in like hmm, probably. No, it, won't. it might be faded out by uh, FDBM, and it won't be as bright. But it's not Brittany, just yeah. the color. It's it's the what contrast. hit me was the the contrast and the sharpness. It was like. It was like your head's full of like micro needle knives. It looks it looks like it was painted by Bob Ross. <laughs> Bob Ross. Let's put a little I mean, mountain right here. You know what? I'll take that as a compliment because Bob yeah. Ross is a damn good painter. Hell we, yeah. got, we got some bright little hair over here. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. He made happy, happy little hair. Happy, happy little, little hair. hair. Happy little hair. This <laughs> happy little hair right like here that. in this pubic region. Put a happy little bush right here. Happy little bush. Happy little bush. Had to go there. <laughs> So my, fa Brittany, my favorite's when he when he uh, he whacks the paintbrush down on the uh, the easel. Just, oh yeah, just yeah. Whack it off. <laughs> this is my whack favorite. It off. This is my favorite part. Exactly. I could watch him for hours. Uh, <laughs> I bet you could. Yeah. Dude, we, we've watch done, him whacking it for especially, hours. Is especially that oh, Jesus. whacking that brush. <laughs> we've there's done a whole Bob Ross paintings. Just, yeah, there's a whole compilation of Bob Ross just whacking it. A whole copulation? Did you say there's a whole that's, copulation? That's what he said. Copulation. That's what he said. <laughs> <laughs> oh. oh boy, you, yeah, you got to be quick. You got to be quick. Know your words. Learn, <laughs> learn the language. <laughs> yeah. Oh, fuck. <laughs> <laughs> Must be oh. that wild ass hat you've got on tonight. Oh, it is just that stuff. wild ass. Is that a wild ass hat? It is a wild ass mm -hmm. hat. Yeah. Can't you see the donkey on the front of it? <laughs> oh. <laughs> oh, it sure is. There you go. There's a donkey right there. That ass is wild. It's running wild. Mm. I had to wear my uh, I had to wear my Louisville FDBM shirt just because ah. it's right around the corner. I wore that to work today. Right around oh, the corner. Nice. Now it's full of chiggers. It, I got fucking chiggers <laughs> bad, man. I'm here to tell you, they're all over my ass. It's bad. I hope they don't migrate to my nuts. Uh, I'll be mm. down. Oh, they'll get there. God, God yeah, they're just man, gonna no keep joke, digging dude. in, man. I mean, I'm slinging calamine lotion over here like fucking Clint Eastwood, dude. I'm not kidding. <laughs> you sleep on your back, they're just gonna slide down your oh, taint dude. like a slip and slide. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't know what was going on. Tony, you need to call Chuck Norris. He'll take care of those chickens. Dude, I was leave. sweating. I had the crotch critters. I was like, the goddamn <laughs> crotch critters got me in the in the blueberry pond at work. Oh, oh boy, man. bought the crabs back from Florida. Hey man, them motherfuckers can jump. <laughs> just jumped, just jumped, jumped right out of the there. Blueberry didn't they? pond. <laughs> <laughs> if they're, if they're alive, if they're alive in the my way pond, out of this one. If they're alive in the blueberry pond, you know for sure that they're uh, there's some those those things are legit. Dude, I went in one of those things the other day and almost peeked right in the thing. I mean, they're just so fucking <laughs> gross, dude. The fucking green-headed flies all over the place. <laughs> the pyramid of poo, you know, above the fucking with rim. It, with its tongue <laughs> sticking out. It looks like, Termin looks like Terminator's hand when he's getting lifted down to the yeah, liquid it's, hot it's metal. It's so <laughs> rank, dude. It's like 200 <laughs> degrees in there, you know what I mean? <laughs> oh, oh, man. I gotta I be walk in there. I said, I'm just going to piss out the window. So do you, do you ever go do deuce in one of those or no no i was gonna say do you get up and climb up there and just hover no there's no way <laughs> tony's like oh, i gotta go to, to the hover. gas station he's, he's gotta go to mickey d's <laughs> yeah uh, my butt is strong I i'll wait till i, I get home Mac. I, I just want to use your bathroom please yeah <laughs> Hey, That's McDonald's even... bathrooms are hardly any better mm, not the no, one i went dude, to in kentucky I, I just wait till i get home i've been known to drive home fuck it <laughs> like, two hour lunch because Tony's got to take a yeah, deuce. I'll be yeah, back, exactly. man. I'm so, prairie dogging. I'll be back in an hour. <laughs> he's like Finch from American Pie. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you just can't oh. go in those public bathrooms and do that. 
Mm. Public bathroom, yeah, just just not can, just not one of those uh, clean. just not those those uh, portable biffies, man. Those things. See, my fear, my fear is not necessarily using one. I can get past that. My fear is the uh, wise motherfucker that's going to be standing outside of it one day and just decide that they've had enough of that portable biffy and they're going to tip that bastard over. Oh, or that's you my get fear. Poseidon's kiss in it. That's, that's really what you don't want. <laughs> oh, the blueberry what? kiss. You know the splashback. Uh, 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 splashback. Oh. Poseidon's kiss, man. Come out of there with bright blue balls. Look like your hair, but blue. <laughs> That's the real problem. See, Tony's so old now. He's got that saggy ball problem. He doesn't want to. He doesn't want to do a ball dip just to take a shit. <laughs> God, they're so gross, dude. Those fucking things are so rank. And I mean, there are some people that go in there with a the fucking newspaper and just fucking set up. Why shop, would you, you do know? that? You know, sitting there talk to you on the phone. You know what I mean? Oh, no, dude, no. I can't, why, I can't. why is there such an echo? Oh, What's I'm in the, I'm yeah. in the port of shitter. Oh. <laughs> so, What's dude, that the worst is when they clean those fuckers out. I mean, when they come and clean that out, you know, usually we're in the house working, and I mean, the whole fucking block. Oh, I smells bet. like hot shit. I mean, it's so <laughs> no. gross, dude. I oh. bet. Oh, and you got like you got crews that probably just ate about fourteen breakfast burritos before oh they ran into God, it. Dude. And that <laughs> fucking dude cleaning it out's a trooper. I mean, he's just in there strong with that big shit sucker. You know what I mean? Dude, I've been into gas stations when the construction guys stop in. They go for the worst food imaginable. Oh, yeah. oh no doubt. Rollers, man. breakfast burritos, breakfast oh. pizza, sausage. Oh. Yeah, and they're they're dropping not too long after they get to the work site. Oh yeah, fuck, it's so. <laughs> it's a big boy. Can't you too. guys? Can't you guys get the uh, plumbers to put to install the uh, the toilets and stuff in the houses before you guys? Well, before see, you... I have a key to all the houses because by the time I go back in them on the return, uh, they're already finished. To put, so like, all your houses, houses have paper. Oh. You guys just bring. You guys have toilet paper in your truck, don't you? So yeah, I keep a roll and I have a key <laughs> to all the. So I go to the model, dude. <laughs> I'll fuck the model up. You know. What I mean? So you got you got all these homeowners thinking they're taking the first dump in their house. Yeah. But no, Tony yeah. Cox's ass has been dude, there first. Let me tell you what, <laughs> Cox is just pop the cherry. <laughs> but yeah, no, I'll go in a house with a quickness. <laughs> I got the key. Somebody eat a waffle on this toilet. There's sprouts everywhere. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Just got to make sure the water's on. Oh, yeah. <laughs> oh, that'd be a mistake, that'd wouldn't be it? A problem, <laughs> yeah. I mean, you go in there and drop a happy heart, a happy one in there, boy, and the water isn't on. It's mm. trouble. <laughs> mm. uh, sounds like a mistake you've made before. It's happened. And you can't leave <laughs> evidence behind. <laughs> Right, that's uh, DNA evidence, man. You gotta, yeah. you gotta get hey, that no out. one's D, no one, no one is DNA testing shit in a construction site. I can no. tell you that for sure. No. Leave some big meatloaf in there, dude. <laughs> it's, un, it's unfortunate. No, those construction guys, they know each other's scent. Yeah, they walk yeah. in there and they're like, "Oh, this is Tony's brisket today." <laughs> <laughs> this is a. It smells like chicken. <laughs> Jesus. <laughs> Gross. Well then. Mm. Well, now that we've uh, sufficiently filled the last 12 minutes with shit talk. <laughs> yeah. well, that was a kind of a shitty section we had there. It was. Uh, what are we talking about today? I don't know. I don't know either. Chiggers and turds. I got obviously. chiggers all over my ass. We can discuss these chiggers. They're no <laughs> fucking joke, man. No. Calamine lotion doesn't fuck with them at all. Fucking chiggers. Do they still make calamine lotion? Is that still fuck a thing? Yeah, man. Yeah. I, I went to the... I went to Walgreens and had everything, bought everything they had. <laughs> I got Jesus. every anti-itch fucking cream they 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 had in stock. Mm. Mm. You're not mm. messing around. You're really trying to clean them up. I had the wicked itch, man. It's no yeah. joke. The wicked well, itch. Brittany's yeah. Brittany's hair is now bright red, and Tony's ball hair is now a nice hue of a uh, soft pink. Fuck! I might have to Calum shave that lotion. whole. I might have to shave the whole undercarriage if this thing gets wild on me, goes rampant. Mm. Uh, dude, I, if I was your wife, you would be sleeping on the couch. There's no fucking way. There's no fucking way I'd let you in the bed. I'd be like, nope. You keep your chigger ass out of this. They have to be bed. dead by now. Chigger, they don't, chiggers aren't gonna. I don't know. They survive for a long time. They chiggers aren't over. gonna crawl out of you and onto somebody else. 
Mm. You tell no, the if you what. get them, if you get them really <laughs> bad, though, like you've got to rip your sheets and wash everything. Well, all I know is them motherfuckers are like in that Looney Tunes commercial. There'll be food around the corner. <laughs> around the corner. Dude, I remember that. I remember that cartoon. <laughs> yeah. That was a great cartoon. That yeah. flea was working that yeah. dog strong. There'll yeah, be food around the corner. Yeah, it was. God, I haven't thought about that in years. Yeah. Well, we have FDBM that we can remind everybody because when this uh, this will go live Labor Day, so we will be two weeks out. Yeah, for, for FDBM, sure. so two weeks when this goes live. So if you're coming, better make some plans. Yeah, because it's going to happen. You FDBM always make plans if you're coming. FDBM yeah. twenty three, right? Yeah, FDBM twenty three. Did is you this forget a, what year it was? Ryan? Is this number four or number five? Where where this are we at with these be, fuckers? Four because we missed one because of COVID. Yeah. Oh yeah, that's right. We missed one because of COVID, right? Yeah. Four. So that's, number four. That's nuts. The COVID that's... year fucked us. Yeah. Ass mm. fucked us. Right yeah. there. That's super. That's that's super nuts. Yeah. In some nuts. ways it feels like in some ways it feels like a lot longer than that. Right. In some ways it feels like it's it's not. That's because like as soon as one ends, we start planning the next one. So it yeah. never seems like it. It's a, it's an ongoing planning situation for you're the last a, five you're years. You're a lying motherfucker. Except <laughs> this. Except, Come on, first you were year. trying to make it sound good. You know yeah, what except, I mean? Except this year. Except this year, Tony, because we will be announcing our FDBM 2024 destination at our at FDBM 2023. So this That's year. A- we will be announcing next year's FDBM, so you can put it on your calendar, make your plans, and be there. Now go on to miss this. Nope. Nope. We yeah, will not want to. I say two, two big things we have going on. We've got the drawing for the bike, and then right yeah. after that, the announcement about the plans for 2024. I always have a big thing going on, but that's just me. You oh, really my gosh. Fuck. It's not what I heard. <laughs> Who'd you hear that from? Yeah, Looks who are like you talking to? And side. why are you doing that research, Percy? <laughs> yeah. Not doing research. <laughs> Even better question. People just talk. People just talk. About Ryan's dong? Mm, a little bit. <laughs> <laughs> Have you ever seen a button on a fur coat? <laughs> <laughs> Oh Looks my nothing God, like that. Tony, that was hilarious. <laughs> like that. You, ever, you ever seen a dog with a clipped tail? Yeah. <laughs> a mushroom in the mulch. Yeah. <laughs> you, ever, you ever seen an elephant's trunk? <laughs> On an elephant. <laughs> so now this episode is about poop, chiggers, and dongs. Hey, well, welcome to welcome FDBM. To the podcast. <laughs> So if you God came here for motorcycle content, in. we don't have it today. We're just completely off the trail. You know, uh, I saw something that was interesting to me that that I, I don't know if it'll it was it's certainly not going to fill the whole podcast. A prosthetic I, penis? No, no, no. <laughs> no, he doesn't no. need one of those. Didn't you listen? His is no. big enough. I walk around mm. with the baby's arm. I don't need a prosthetic penis. <laughs> Shit. <laughs> <laughs> so. Is it holding an apple? <laughs> <laughs> oh, you motherfucker. I <laughs> so I do have one question, though. There was a comment in Discord about how one of our members is trading their Sportster 883, and he was concerned because he said the dealership he was taking it to um, was only going to give him seven grand for it. And I, I don't want to blow this guy up, so I'm not going to mention any names. But it made me think about that a little bit, um, just in terms of, um, we, we talked a long time about Sportster being like a legacy motorcycle for Harley because they made it for so long and it was really, you know, their entry level, their entry level Harley Davidson. But do you think that that now that they're not producing it anymore, that truly the Sportster's gone or the 883 Sportster's gone, um, even though there's a gajillion of them out there, has that motorcycle now lost its value because of that too? Well, well, I mean, before I don't think before you go there, I mean, Depending on how old the Sportster is, seven thousand yeah. sounds like a a lot of money to get trade in from a dealer. For a I kind of thought, so. well, I didn't think that was too bad when I first read it either. Like yeah. I was like, you know, it was kind of like uh, um, they're only going to give me seven thousand for it, and I, I'm feeling like, well, if you paid ten for it, 
Seven thousand for an eight eighty three Sportster. That's not a bad deal. Yeah. And I mean, how old is it? And how many miles are on it? It's got to be right. It's got to be you what at least mean? three years his old. Is, you figure. His is the uh, the Venom or whatever it's called, Snake Green. So it's got to be oh, three years so old. That's then, two right? or three years so it's old. A, so that's yeah, right. that's what I was getting at. It's a newer one with the like a fancy paint, if you will. Three, so if you, three years, yeah, but three years old for a Sportster 883, and they're still getting 7000 for it? That's, that's good. That's a pretty good deal because yeah. that dealership's only going to be able to turn around and sell that bike for 8500 or $9,000, I'd, I'd say, at the very most. Very most. Yeah. How many I don't miles? think they're going to get ten too. grand. I mean, has it got 10 miles on it? Does it have 10,000 miles on it? 15,000 miles? I mean, that's... Yeah, I don't know, but anyway... the the I don't think that's bad, really. Okay, so that's that's kind of what I thought too. I didn't yeah. think it was a terrible price for a sportster, but my question, ultimately, my question was is is because they're not making that bike, has the eight eighty three lost a lot of value? Do you think you know in in the marketplace are people like okay, you know Harley's smallest engine now is a one fourteen? Is the eight eighty three just it's like off? anything else? It's know. like any other widget, right? If there's demand, that's going to be yeah. the value is going to be higher. If there's no demand, it'll be lower. There's just a lot of them out there uh i don't see them losing their value still at the end of the day what other harley are you going to get into for eight thousand dollars right that's only a couple years old yeah, you know right. what i mean you're not going to get into any other harley for that yeah right? i mean i my view is skewed because i got a hell of a deal on my bike i only had to pay 5k for it so um, I don't and you know. bought you, you bought yours private sale though, right, Brittany? Yeah, I did. I it was not from a dealership, so sometimes I think you can get a better price when you buy and sell privately um, versus like trade in or buy from a dealership. But um, mine's a 2015 1200T. Is, and well, like that's said, eight years I got old, a steal though, on now, it yeah. though. I mean, she gave me a really good deal on on. Didn't mine. you? When did you get that, Brittany? That bike you. You got that bike like three years ago, right? Uh, 2019. So, so yeah, it was four only years four years ago. old when you got it. Yeah, that was that was yeah, a good it deal. Wasn't that was a good old. deal. That was a yeah. you, you was did a get a steal on that freaking bike. hell of a deal. Yeah, sounds yeah. like she got the same deal I did. <clears throat> yeah. yeah, my situation was the guy was getting married and had a baby on the way, and he had like two or three bikes, so he had to get rid of a couple of. Them. Had to oh, get so rid of one. Just for yeah. kicks, just to help with the discussion, I just went and looked up a Snake Venom uh, Sportster. Mm -hmm. And looks like this, just the first one that came up was in Knoxville, and it's going for 10.5. Okay. So well, you there guys you go. might be on, I mean, so 7 or 8K is prob probably really is a good price because they're going to have to mark it up. They're going to have to mark it. it up to sell it. Yeah. You know yeah. what I, you know what I definitely <clears throat> see happening? You know how. Bikes go in phases of popularity, right? Like yeah. right now, it's what road glides. Would you say it's road glides? I think it's regional like too. What's yeah. hot and what's not? Because yeah. around here, yeah, it's always is. been baggers. I mean, baggers. always. Yeah. Do you Midwest see, Midwest baggers are king because yeah, yeah, you've got to yeah. ride five hundred miles to get anywhere. Would you see in like five years you start seeing Evo Sportster trend coming back, where they just soup the shit out of them? I think. Well, not this is what I think, not Dustin. At scale. Yeah, this is what I think. I think with the the resurgence of these kind of vintage choppers, I think Sportsters are going to be the bike of choice for, which I kind of think they are already, but I think Evo Sportsters specifically are going to be the bike of choice for your, your chopper builders mm -hmm. because there's so many of them. There's a gajillion parts out there. And really, for a, for a Harley, even a custom Harley, or to build a Sportster, uh, or uh, to build a chopper, a Sportster is just worth the way to go. I mean, the, the motors are indestructible. They're cheap bikes, and you can get the parts for cheap comparatively to any other Harley. They're one of the cheapest bikes to mod. Yeah, you can go to that, a flea and, market I and mean, find Sportster parts. Yeah, and it's it, a chopper doesn't need to be, like, super fucking fast. <laughs> no yeah, one wants to be fast on a chopper. Yeah. yeah. Well, even the one you we're giving away a topped out with a... Uh, pan am motor in it you know right. what i mean well even like ours we you know they blockhead dynoed it before it came back to jared and it was what 52 horsepower yeah and i yeah. mean that's that's all you want on that motorcycle dude yeah when you that's, when you're riding on a, more than enough you yeah, know what when I you're mean? riding on a bike like that that's hardtail or custom or whatever 
you're riding slow enough because you want everybody to look at you so they can see how fucking cool your bike is. Or you want to have some kidneys left to wherever you're going to. Yeah, you know right? So you're not I mean? pissing blood, for sure. Yeah, you're pissing blood and your ass is prolapsed, you know, back mm. a mile and a half away. <laughs> right. Jesus. <laughs> I'm just saying. It's true. It's You true, don't want though. them that fast. I mean, you don't. No. They're but lookers. You- but when you when you're riding on it, you you sure feel fucking cool though. You sure you sure feel cool. There's no e- doubt about even it. Even if you're getting kidney punched the whole time, it's yeah. almost worth it. So okay. consensus is seven thousand is probably a, a I think so. But without number, knowing the right? condition of the bike, yeah, and, I mean we don't you know, know if it's what mods scratched is up or, or yeah, yeah miles up and all the other stuff. Whatever. I, I think yeah, I think that's pretty fair to be honest with you. And, and yeah. I think if you're you know you want more than that. You're you're mm, you're probably not for a sports or eighty three. I just don't think you're gonna get it anymore. I've traded in a shit ton of bikes, and they've <laughs> always been pretty fair with me on trades. Yeah, it was never I went in and was like, "Can I get more money for the trade?" Usually, when they came back, I was like, "Ooh, that's pretty fucking good." Yeah. You know, <laughs> I think we're just gonna stick with that. But number. you <laughs> you have relationships with the people you do business with, right? I mean, I and I can yeah. I can see where that. Because I I feel the same way, but I can see where that wouldn't be that way if you don't if you just walk into a dealer and say, Hey, yeah, I right. want to trade this. And everybody, for whatever reason, doesn't matter if it's a car or a motorcycle, always wants to try to get all their money back. Or right. a well, big Harley chunk of their money they back. They still do that where you can they trade don't. in that program. They don't. Yeah. Because I did that program. When yeah. I bought when I bought that sporty I had and I traded it in in the eleven months, but yeah. I got every penny back. Except the taxes. Yep. And, and you know. dumped it too. I, I might have left that out. <laughs> <laughs> you fucking guy. Might have left that out. <laughs> I fixed it. Uh, I fixed it. But yeah, no, that program, I think that was, uh, you talk about a great program and a way to get people into the brand and get yeah. them addicted. Man, mm-hmm. that was, uh, that, how long did they have that? Was that a one it year ran deal? for a while. No, but, it mean, was a couple gotta, of years. Yeah, because what was a? I think I paid. Was it ten grand? I think I paid for my Sportster new nine, yeah. the high mm-hmm. nines, maybe ten, and traded it in two years later for the same money. Yeah, I I had a, my twelve hundred was ten. Yeah, and then I traded it in and I got. Every penny back, except the taxes yeah. that I had to pay. So Tony, but you 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 got all of that money back, even though you, even though you tore the motor apart and put a different motor in it too. Yeah, good for you. That's yeah, I don't. Yeah, but I don't that think, that bike I don't sold think in they... like three days, didn't it? Do what? That bike that you traded in sold in like three days, didn't it? Yeah, I think it sold like the next fucking day. It was, yeah, it was I, a I bad don't, I don't think that program man. had mm. restrictions on it, did it? I mean, you could because I know I did a couple of things to my bike and it. They still took it back. Yeah, I don't. I don't know that it did. But you, you had to trade up, though, right? You couldn't trade it in on another sports. You could not get yeah, another sports. So it'd be a soft tail or higher, right, which yeah. is how I got my fat bob so cheap. Sure, I bought that slim. They got me. They, they got, got me. The slim. They got you that interim bike. They did. <laughs> God. You two, you two both got weird bikes. You traded in your sports for weird bikes. <laughs> yeah, weird. Yeah, that bike wasn't a weird bike. I love that bike. That was yeah. a brand new bike when you got it too. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Change design. It was weird. It was weird when it came out. Dude. It was just. It was just different. The, well, the Fat Bob existed before that, but they not, took not the in that, Bob. not in that, not in that but configuration. Print, no. The yeah. Fat Bob existed absolutely. It well, did. yeah, it but had, it didn't. It had two front headlights and the a fucking they, Dyna. They completely, changed completely they changed different the, styling. Yeah, they changed the configuration. And yeah. was it was it the was the Fat Bob when you got it, Dave? Was it the first bike that Harley had released with the inverted front forks? Uh, it's the first Ooh, one I that know. I knew of. I'm not sure, and it was the first one with the the 28 degree rake light. Yeah, the 28 degree yeah. uh, rake and then the the headlight. Well, yeah, yeah and square. they haven't done that headlight since then on any other bike. They so have they, sports dress. Mm-hmm. Sports to rest. Oh, yeah. sports to rest. Yeah, yeah. Because, because the, that's when they came out with the. Because you had the yeah, they had the, the integrated little fucking, uh, speedo in the handlebars for the street bob. Yeah, that Wasn't was that the, the same, same year. year? Eighteen. Yeah, yeah. It was the same year. Yeah. And didn't they? So the because they uh, the the 
the version of the Fat Bob right before, I think right before they changed it to what you had, Dave, they had uh, that Fat Bob that had the integrated tail lights all into the rear fender. Those Remember those round tail lights that were in the rear fender? And had the yeah. dual, the had dual, the dual round front headlights, headlights too, yep. yeah. And then it had integrated, integrated round tail lights that were and all those... built into the front or back fender. Yeah, and then the China. like extreme forward controls. That were too I think much, that too much bike, for me. I think that bike is Linda, actually. Dustin's mm. Dustin's friend's bike is oh, Linda. I, I think like, is who's Linda? is is has it has uh, the the integrated rear tail lights and the the two dual front headlights. L i n d u h. Yep. Linda. <laughs> he loves to ride Linda. I bet he does. Talks he about does. her all the time. Got a yep. fat ass. That's what he treats her like <laughs> treats her like a stepmom, doesn't he? Uh. <laughs> Jesus. So that was a good uh, thing to discuss, Ryan. Thank you for for bringing. That yeah, in. the fucking. I remember those eighteen. That eighteen year was a shakeup. It was. 18 yeah. was the that 18 was the year Harley was going to go out of business because of all the fuck ups they made. Oh wait, that was 17 and 16 and 18 and, 18 <laughs> and yeah, yeah. So do you guys see a lot of the old 83s, the irons, in your dealerships now? No, I do. Yeah, they oh, have in the dealerships. They, yeah, we've had a we've had a couple come through. We've got one. I think it's uh, I think it's the last. I think it's a 22. Dude, it's Sit weird. I've Around here, and I don't know about your all's area, but I don't see any sportsters in the wild. Yeah, I don't feel like I usually. I see really them don't. It's I don't mostly, either. Mostly, I think I see street guides the most. I see baggers. I mean, I don't even yeah. see that many soft tails. Every yeah. now and again, you'll see a soft tail. I see everybody you know, buy everything. I every guess week, we do so. see a lot of soft tails as well. You know, you know what I've seen more, uh, more recently than uh sportsters now because sportsters used to be the uh like the starter bike right of choice around here i'm seeing the uh yamaha bolt and i'm seeing that fucking that Honda. thing's a piece of shit so out of the five people that ride in your area how many bolts do you see <clears throat> what's that i i actually i saw <laughs> i saw both a yamaha bolt today and that what's that honda that the rebel the redesigned the rebel. rebel. Yeah, I saw a piece of shit too. <clears throat> I I saw that redesigned rebel. I <clears throat> in fact I thought it was a sportster coming towards me, and then I looked and I was like, nope, that's the redesigned rebel. Yeah, the only bolts Ryan sees are the ones that fall off Bob's bike. <laughs> <laughs> oh, poor Bob. Ooh, man, man. That's mud. a good Slinging one. Mud. I owe that. I owe that to him though. That was yeah, a good that was one. Good. Mm. That was a good one. Oh, that was a good one so, for sure. Poor Bob. Have, speaking of, of bikes, <laughs> have you we, all we seen... love Bob. Hey, wait a minute, wait, wait, Bob. wait. We gotta we gotta mention this too. We're gonna be celebrating Bob's birthday at FDBM. Oh yeah, we are. So we need to make oh, him yeah. a cake. All right. I'll Bob's cake. birthday, yeah. A dick yeah. cake. So Tony, you know any local bakers that can make a phallic looking cake? I guarantee it. <laughs> 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 I guarantee it. Tell him, tell him you want you want a cake with a with a uh, small penis and giant balls. Yes, <laughs> we would like a cake with a medium sized shaft and a bulbous head, please. Fuck <laughs> 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 you, Bob. <laughs> What's your name? I should have bought. I saw that shirt uh, at the one twentieth. I should have bought it for him. Yeah, <laughs> that's awesome though. <laughs> I was gonna be smoking cigars and having a good old time eating wieners. Mm-hmm. Eating mm. wieners. We should have a hot dog eating contest. So wiener for every year. <laughs> <laughs> a hot dog cake. That's perfect. Uh, he'll have Forty six wieners for Bob. It's all over and said and done. Mm. You seen those videos where people make? They look like real objects, but they're actually cakes. They cut into them with yeah. a knife. Yeah, yeah. You should do a it's big really hot dog. Right now. <laughs> I think that's a. Is that a show or like a YouTube series or it's something? Like is a, it cake? Yeah, I think there is a show. Mm-hmm. I think it was a show called "Is a Cake." Yeah, because I nice. saw this one. It looked like a cue ball, or an eight ball, or a, a pool ball of some sort, and they cut right through it. I'm like, that looked shiny and everything. It's incredible. It yeah. had a glaze mm-hmm. on it. <laughs> that's what she said. <laughs> <laughs> 
<laughs> Do you play pool much? Pocket. Yeah. No, yeah, he doesn't play saying, pool. Man. He just really likes the balls. Gotcha. <laughs> and, and the sticks. A little, little weird. And it, and was a, it was a cue ball or an eight ball or something. I mean, typically you would know eight the ball. difference between the cue ball or the eight ball. But well, if you one, played pool. Yeah, one's like Caucasian, white. one isn't. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Jesus. That escalated quickly. Ooh. Choked on that one. <laughs> yes, you did. It was what I like to call a tonsil, a tonsil tickler. <laughs> yeah, boy. No, he's he's choking on something right now. Yeah, get it out, Ryan. So I will get a Gross. personal, firsthand look at the Roguelite CVO tomorrow. Oh, nice. Ooh, we finally cool. got we got one delivered. I think on Friday, so it was in the back getting prepped for the showroom. So it should probably be up on. Text me. Let me know what you think about that ugly fuck. I'm going to say that. Oh, I'm going to say that. I'll be taking pictures. I'd See like if you to can do it. a good angle. Yeah, I'd like to do a fairing. YouTube video on both bikes while we have both because our street glide hasn't sold yet. Really? I think the road glide looks good. Personally. How long, how long have all you the had pictures that I saw glide? look good. Yeah. Uh, about a month. You know, the no. angle that Dave likes is when he uh, puts his phone into selfie mode, lays it on the carpet. And then stands over and squats. <laughs> <laughs> there was like literally no reason to bring to even invent anything like that to bring into a conversation. Well, we were, I mean, you know, you got to make sure your taint's the right size for you, the seat. Are you fantasizing or something? I mean, mm -hmm. you, you're just, just Dave. You're just you're just concerned about how quickly I came up with that. <laughs> We're always is, concerned it, at how quickly you come I'm up with shit, I'm concerned why you <laughs> came up with that. Yeah. Hmm. It's really not the quickness. It's I'm really why. I'm, I'm always looking for new ways, new, new selfie angles. So there you go. I guess. That's the real story. He was practicing that one earlier today. Hmm. Maybe oh. so. <laughs> how do you know Maybe he's so. not doing it right now? He might be. That's how Brittany matches the uh, hair dye. Oh, my God. <laughs> <laughs> mm. So anyway, Dustin, yeah, I'm anxious to hear what you uh, what you think about it. Well, when I when I get the camera out and take pictures, I'll send you guys some good angles. I'll see what I can do with it. Yeah, you don't. I mean, you could take a picture with anything. That fucking bike is badass, dude. Mm -hmm. The bike's badass. The I'll find out. Nice. I'll find out. You tomorrow. don't like the fairing? I don't. I think the fairing it, looks I think good in the They picture. absolutely cool, man. Fuck the the whole thing with the fairing because it doesn't go with the rest of the bike. Street glide doesn't got know, good flow. Like I love a, those. I love those bags. The, the bags, bags are nice. Yeah, looks neat. pretty good. Bags yeah. are nice. I'll I'll have a formal opinion tomorrow. Nice. All right, a well, formal opinion. Speaking of bikes, have you all seen this four hundred Triumph that they're coming out with? No, no, no. Here, Fucking four hundred cc Triumph, dude. It's badass. Is it? It's um, going to be about six grand. Does it look like the Thruxton? Yeah. Okay, so it's a cafe, cafe racer style. Yeah, I mean, you can look. It's on the website. They haven't announced the price yet, but uh, it's a little 400cc Triumph, dude. It's fucking cool. I don't know why Harley doesn't do something like that. Because they make either. one, but they just know. don't release it in the U.S. Yeah, I I have. I, I was just looking at that. I think it was earlier this afternoon, and I was like, man, if, if, if I was in the market for a starter bike right now, I would not be getting a Harley. Because there no. is a shit ton no. of really fucking cool bikes that are between six and eight grand, and they're all super dope. This one's cool, all Tony. It's, it's badass. Got the, it's got it? the gold fork tubes and, and yep. the blue and the the yep. gray, dude. Ooh. Man, yeah, it looks nice. I like the it's, red, the red and the gray. Which thing. one is it? The new even Triumph. The, even the black one looks good. What is it at 400 cc bike tone? 400 it's the cc. It's speed 400. Yeah. And it's badass. Yeah. Put a I screen. Like put the, sh share the screen. Well, uh, yeah. Let me let me get an image up on the screen. But yeah. this... no, dude, it's badass. And I mean, yeah, that thing's I've, cool. I've watched a couple of YouTube videos, and they're talking like 5,600 bucks, I think, for that bike. Oh, that'd be Holy a great shit. bike. <clears throat> what do you think? Just estimation. What do you think a 400 cc bike like that would top out, like top speed? I mean, it would probably I have no do, idea. It'd probably do 90. So you think it would? Do you think it would be highway speed kind of bike or no? Uh, I 
I mean, you know, as much as the 883 is, you know what I mean? So it's hanging kind of, on for hanging on for dear life. Yeah, hanging on for dear life. I mean, I wouldn't want to fucking go to Chicago on it. No, well, it's sure. forty you know horsepower, what? forty yeah. horsepower at eight thousand RPM. Yeah. So I mean, you know, the what was the eight eighty three? It was forty five, maybe. I mean, you you're gonna ride that around town in the local area. Yeah. You're not gonna... But I mean, the thing is, is I mean, it's like six grand. Yeah. And it's a cool looking fucking bike. Wow. Six speed. Yeah. Wow, that bike is super dope looking. Yeah. 170 kilometers per hour. What is that? That's like uh, 42 miles like an hour. 80. <laughs> 85. Yeah. I, if I had to guess with the 400, you're talking about 80. 80 to 90 miles an hour top end. Wow. That's a good looking little bike, man. Yeah, dude. It's a sharp little bike. Yeah, I'll get it Super up on sharp. here in a second. Uh, we'll probably go through some and shit. That, that's dude, what, yeah, according, to, price, yeah. according to Siri, that's 105 miles an hour. Oh, there you go. 100 miles an hour. That's Holy cool. shit. Well, then, beat, then I mean, if that bike tops out at 100 miles an hour, then... You know, going 70 or 80 on the interstate, no problem, right? Yeah. Now, look at that fucking yeah. bike. Yeah, dude. That thing's for, fucking badass. It for 5600 kind of bucks. The same yeah, like six, I market. mean, they haven't announced the price yet, but the rumors I've heard was, you know, six grand and under. But, I mean, it's got all the DNA of, of a fucking, of a Triumph. You know what I mean? Yeah. Little 400 uh, twin, parallel twin. See, now... To me, that's or is that a single? Kinda, that might be a thumper. It's water, water, water cooled. Yeah. To me, th this is the kind of bike that's perfect for like uh, commuter living. Yeah. Yeah. Dude, that would be just yeah. a fun bike to go around town on. You lived in DC. Mm -hmm. That'd be a great bike yeah. to, to get around in. Yep. And I mean, you're going to do it for way under $10,000. Way under ten. Right. You know, available January 2024. And yep. you could put you could put one of those real small like Memphis Shades makes that. What's that small, tiny windshield that they make? Tiny. The cafe uh, racer. Uh, yeah, it's cafe it's just racer? that one. That's like a little tiny. Uh, um, I think it is the cafe racer. Yeah. Well, it's just a small like I can't even think so like of the, the Del Rey or something. Like yeah, that. the Del Rey. You yeah. could put a little Del Rey on that. Would look like it would look really good on that bike. And but uh, I mean, inverted front end. Yeah, you know, it's just a cool fucking motorcycle, man. Yep. The only thing I don't like about it, and I know that this is just that style or whatever, is I I hate that dick hanging off the back end of it with the well, you can get rid of those. You know, like I you wish it get just a delete had, yeah. for those. That's I on just, all of them. I wish it just had like integrated tail lights in the yeah. right underneath that handle with the the side plate somewhere else or the, the rear plate somewhere else because that just looks like a big dick sticking out of the back of that bike. Yeah, yeah and everything looks like dicks to you tonight. What's going on, bro? He's, he's <laughs> dickalicious. You having a problem? I thought that was just how men viewed the world. No. Side view. <laughs> no. Yeah. I mean, that's fucking. That's I'd cool. ride that motherfucker, dude. Oh, I'd ride it too. Yeah. Yep. Hmm. Now, I am a little curious, though, because I look at where the pegs are, and it looks like mm -hmm. you're going to be in a, kind of a leaning forward riding mm -hmm. position. Did you see when you said pegs, Brittany's oh, yeah. eyes got real big? Yeah, yeah they did. <laughs> yeah. They, did they did not. Did. Oh, they did. They pegs? Were... Just a little pegs. Eyes right well, just her, a little her... twinkle. Just a little twinkle in your eye, Brittany. When her you hair standing that. up. Mm -hmm. She heard pegs, yep. and her hair stood up. It's pegs. Yep. Pegs. Where's Jared? <laughs> at the bar, I sent him away. At, at the, the bar, bar. He, he he's got to get he's got to get tuned up before he comes home. He knows what's <laughs> in for him. It's a little, it's a little more. You less guys painful. know me better than that. When we get done with the podcast, I go to sleep. <laughs> mm. Yeah, sleep. <laughs> Put Jared to sleep. That's her safe word. <laughs> sleep. Put his legs to sleep is what you do. Passed <laughs> out from the pain. <laughs> Billy. <laughs> oh, oh shit oh that was so wrong but well, no let's, I, let's... I saw that the other day i was like well, why doesn't harley do that because they make a 400 they just don't offer it in the states yeah. everybody i wonder if yeah. people here just wouldn't they buy wouldn't enough buy of them so they're just it's not worth it to well them. they're not 
It's like a we lot, talked a about before. New, it's not their their market. That yeah, they're a lot of the bikes towards. with the new motor aren't selling that great. No, I mean it's just you know I just think and you know I'm no market you know I don't know anything about it really. I'm just talking out of my ass, but. It seems like somebody getting into motorcycles the first time, a young person getting into motorcycles, is more apt to spend six than they are 14. Right. Yeah, I mean, I you would know? agree with that. Yeah. And not only that, I mean, a 400 is controllable. That fucking Nightster, I mean, that motherfucker's fast. I mean. Well, it's just like that. It's just like the Sportster S. Even when you yeah. see it in a, in a showroom, you know. It, Dude, it's it kind it of a looks, dumb bike. It, it is kind of a dumb bike, but yeah. you can tell – it it looks really fucking fast just yeah. sitting. Yeah, and it does. That tiny... it's just that taco position it puts you in. Yeah. I don't. I, it's the only thing I don't get. If they just had regular like mids on there, it'd be a. Lot, I think it would be a little more appealing for a lot of people. But I I think they thought that that bike was gonna appeal to a uh, sport bike crowd, and I just which not with guy, Fords, it's not the Sportster S. Yeah. Now, the problem they've got, I think, is, it's you know, again, going back to Harley being a lifestyle brand, this type of bike doesn't fit the Harley with the Harley lifestyle they want to project. No. It's a different no. lifestyle, right? Yeah. So yeah, I think that's why don't they sell this? Why don't they bring it to the U.S. market? Because they wouldn't, it wouldn't sell. Right. Well, think, and, and maybe the Sportster is, S is popular or the Knightster is popular in Europe. I, I wouldn't be a bit surprised if those bikes aren't selling like crazy over there. Mm, I've yeah I I saw actually when the sports dress first came out I saw more in Europe in Asia than before I saw them in the U.S. Sure, in the but make, it, that bike makes sense there. It, yeah. I mean it does. You know. Yeah. Do you guys think you know since Harley introduced I don't know if it was within the last year or two years they introduced the used bike inventory search engine on their, yeah their website. Mm -hmm. That's, I think that's what's kind of keeping them geared toward the younger people that can buy those used smaller bikes. Yep. It's a good tool. Yeah. The, what do they call it? The Great HD tool. Marketplace or something? They they had They're a uh, HD1 at marketplace. Sturgis and at the 120th. Mm -hmm. The Surf Both, They had big areas set up where they had bikes there that were in the Marketplace stuff. Yeah. The certified. Pre-owned and, pre and certified, yep. So we yeah. got a few bikes that are certified and... They get a little tag <laughs> on them that say certified makes you makes you warm and fuzzy on the inside. Yeah, you know, it's just you're like auto make sure companies. All fuzzy. You're going to be able to get a Sportster <laughs> or a Dyna on that marketplace for a hot minute because they made a shit ton of those. Oh, fuckers. here's here's what's cool because I'm on HD right now looking at the the HD one marketplace. I could see f photos I took for Ted's on here. Very That's cool. Fun. Yeah, very cool. We got this kinetic green tri-glide in and we've been selling the shit out of tri-glides and you know anything with three wheels we've been really selling a lot of hd it's, it's already like up on the used market yeah wow yeah people flip harleys quick don't they mm -hmm. <clears throat> Got to go. but i just can't believe how how quickly trikes are selling you know free wheelers and the tri-glides are selling compared to almost anything else that we yeah, offer. Dude, that is I, I kind think, of amazing. I yeah. think there are some people out there that ride a Harley for a season, and and don't and, and then how can you afford get rid of it. that? Well, there there are people that definitely only put miles on as if they only rode one season before they traded in. I mean, it's, it's, <laughs> well, for sure, it's fucking ridiculous. They may have it for ten years, but they you know right. traded in with three thousand miles or whatever. Oh, you right. should right. you should seen some of the bikes that I've gotten. Oh, you all photograph. can suck my dick. <laughs> <laughs> don't, don't. He's like, that's what i do oh i'm sorry Tony. Oh, you forgot you were there. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. well it's it's funny because you know Frozen. ricky in the in the discord was it today or yesterday was talking about the fact that he's got i think twenty eight thousand or twenty six thousand miles on on his street that he bought like two or three years ago and never thought he would have a bike where he'd have thirty thousand miles on it mm. hmm. loves that yeah. bike yeah, it's a great bike. You ride your bike. Mm -hmm. What's he have? Street Bob? Is that what he has? Yeah, yeah. he's got a Street Bob. He, he got yeah, the yeah. last. He, he bought bought it just before Tony got his. He got the yeah, 107. Got, it's oh, the 107, okay. yeah. yeah. Oh, he got it right before they did. Like, the they one, did, dude. Like they three they months asked or fucking strong on that oh. one. Yeah, they mm. came out just right afterwards. So what the only, what's the only 107 left? Is that the standard? The standard, now? yeah. 
that they got rid of the other 107s? No, I think the standard's I gone. Remember. I don't think they no, have I a 107 No, I think they still anymore. have the standard. Doesn't the, like we, have the a new, we have a new one. Road and street glide oh, okay. standards, don't they have a 107 still? Mm -hmm. Yeah, you're right. Oh, yeah. Yep. Yep, they do. But in the yeah, soft tail soft lineup, tail the standard. street bob standard, or the standard soft tail is the only 107 left. Yeah. 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 Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. yeah and I would say next year you're going to see some VVTs. 14. Yeah, it is a one fourteen. In the probably in the bagger lineup, right? That's what you. That's what you're thinking. I don't know, man. I think I think the one seventeens will probably go VVT. Hmm. At least I'm thinking. I don't know. I could be wrong, but I don't know why they wouldn't trickle it down. Just like the M8, the M8 came out in the bagger. Then the next year, the whole soft tail lineup was changed with them. Yeah. Okay, it, hold on. Can we go back? Can we go back to the Road Glide CVO? Dave, why don't you like the look of the fairing? Because it's too cool. Because the fairing is <laughs> ugly as fuck. It doesn't How the is design it ugly? The, you gotta see it in person. The design of the fairing does not match the, the lines of the body of the bike. It's like a big bulbous fucking mushroom head on the top of this amazing. I don't know, uh, man. I think I don't know. The, the stuff I see the pictures I've seen, it looks good. Sorry, I was looking at the the engine sizes and got distracted. You just have to look at it in person. I'll tell you what looks oh, good in person. Is and that hey, look, there, there, fast. Are, there are plenty of beautiful things in life that people find ugly and plenty of ugly things in life that people find beautiful. So there is no wrong answer. Like taints. I disagree. Yeah, they're not for everyone. <laughs> They're not for everybody. Well, that's true. I'll agree with that. <laughs> so here's here's a photo of the Rogue Glide fairing. <laughs> <laughs> that's about right. Nice, Dustin. Courtesy of Bill Murray and the Ghostbusters. Yeah. Mm -hmm. That is hilarious. Yeah. The CVO Rogue Glide 2023 is a butterfly. I don't know, man. I think it looks good, but I'll let you know I when I see it in good. person. It's a, I tell you what is great on that, and it's the same with the Street Glides, the, uh, that all the electronics, that infotainment I, system or whatever you want to call it. it I have not been a fan incredible. of the Batwing bike and those Batwing CVO street glides were everywhere at Sturgis this year. And that is a nice looking bike. It, and from every, every angle you look at that bike, every, you look at it from the side, yeah. you look at it from the front, you look at it from the back, every angle that bike looks fucking Dope. I am I not agree. a fan of the Batwing, but the 2023 CVOs. Yep, I would. I would. Get the, I would, I would, I would get that street good. glide in the heartbeat. They yep. they nailed the redesign on the yep. the street everything. glide fairing. Everything about that bike is super dope. I I yep. really really like it a lot. I think should have had the same team design the road glide fairing. Even even the uh, from what I understand the the bars and everything. I mean, I do know if yeah. you look at the road glide, they. They redesigned the whole triple tree area of both the road glide and the street glide to make it much, much easier to put aftermarket bars on. There is a lot of really smart things when you get up and you look at the bike really closely that Harley did on these bikes because yeah. they know how much people are modding them and they made it easier. They made it easier to replace the bars. They made it easier to do a lot of things. But, you know, the, how they how they adjusted those bags and, and, and cut them down and oh, fuck. I just, I really, really like it in that silver one. So just so you know, I saw a video this weekend of someone that took the bags off the CVO and put it on a normal touring frame. And they fit. Ooh. Mm. Mm. There you go. And I'll be fit. back. I got a piss. <laughs> <laughs> now, I think you still have to deal with the fact they got those fucking speakers in there, but. But I, I can't imagine that it's going to be too long before we see like Ad Van Black and Hogworks and them coming out with the. Uh, I wonder if the shape. lids aren't the same though. If you just took a regular Ooh, lid remember. and put it on that bag, we uh, just looked at it the other day. Out. But oh the, yeah, the, yeah, yeah I'm pretty yeah, they, sure they're yeah. different. Yeah, yeah, they do. Yeah, because the do. saddlebag is like rounded. Yep. Yep. And they didn't do. Um, what, are, what were they telling us that it's the inside is designed differently as well to like a different shape? Mm -hmm. hmm. Well, I won't be looking at that because I have the last two parts for my bike build on the way, and I'm done. What's that? I'm what do you got? What do you got on the way, Dave? I will show them to you. Show it to you when we get to FDBM. A CVO fairing? Oh fuck no! 
<laughs> no. But if there were a way to get that infotainment system, mm, that'd be something yeah. different. But yeah, I am. Uh, as soon as the parts get in, within 24 hours, I will have completed my build. It took a year and a half. He says that now. Uh, nope. There's literally, yeah, this is it. Well, good for you, Dave. Thank you very much. <laughs> Speaking of I would good, like to get some paint match stuff for my bike, but speaking that's for of good, another year. Go ahead, Dustin. Sorry. Let's talk about this thing. That's a nice looking bike. This it is. is our Sportster Ironhead. Dustin's got the shiny picture, so that motherfucker. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Mm-hmm. I gave it the royal treatment. Now, everybody, we are what less. By the time this podcast is released, we're less than two weeks away from a winner being drawn for this thing. And we need to sell more tickets. We do. So buy some tickets. Please go to 5DirtyBikers.com and buy a ticket or 12 or 20 for this. You motherfuckers won't let me buy any or I'd buy a shit ton of them. Can can we, I I would, I I gotta say a couple things. First of all, um, I know that we've had some supporters, uh, that have purchased a number of tickets and and i thank these guys very very much for doing that the interesting thing is is that they're buying tickets for this bike but they're also posting about it and telling other people to buy tickets for the bike Mm -hmm. and i find that to be an amazing thing that they are just really out there supporting everything that we've done um, to try to raise money for uh, this charity and so um, I, I really need to just thank those guys and I'm not going to say who they are. They know who they are. They know that we're, that I'm talking about them right now. Um, but they've been really consistent about posting about it and, and buying tickets and supporting what we're doing. And I, and I, and I thank you guys and I will thank you in person when I see you at FTBM because I know you'll be there. Oh yeah. Yep. Lots of them. So go to five dirty bikers.com. Go to the website. On the homepage, there's a link to get right to the page where you can buy raffle tickets. Please buy some. Tell your friends, your family, everybody. Make it happen. Make it happen, Captain. Yep. It is a cool fucking motorcycle. You have till September 15th, end of the day, midnight. End of the day, September 15th, and it's all over. And then what happens on the 16th? Yep. Draw the we winner. draw a winner. You draw will not be able winner. to buy tickets at the event. When 12.01 hits, 12 o'clock, midnight, whenever, on the 16th, it's done. It's over. It is over. Hmm. Huge weight off our shoulders, I know, guys, but I, I want to <laughs> say this on the show because coming from a dad with, with a little one that deals with this every day, thank the four of you for all your hard work on this because it means a lot to oh. me and the wife and the family. Come on, Dustin. Don't get, don't get all sad. Dude, on. seriously, man, this, this bike is doing great things for a lot of people. It is. It we is. we know I'm, personally I'm how rough proud to be part of it. You well, know what we I mean? know personally how rough it can be, especially in the beginning when you have little ones that are dealing with this. And even if you're a first time parent or not, it could be rough, man. And knowing that this is going to a place where, it's going to help a lot of families do a lot of good things is um, it's, it's amazing. So thank you guys again for all your work, helping make this become a reality and, and Weems and Fernando and blockhead and all the sponsors you guys have been, you've been the village to make this happen. So thank you. There we go. Fuckers. You're welcome. <laughs> Proud Fuckers. to be part of it. <laughs> <laughs> cocksucker. Supreme cocksucker. Super. <laughs> So, again, FDBM is coming up the 16th of September. We are going to be at Bluegrass Harley-Davidson. <clears throat> the bike will be going back there near two weeks before the event. So if you're listening to this podcast, the coming Saturday, you can go to Bluegrass and check it out if you're in the area. And there's lots of cool stuff on, on the agenda for, for the meetup. You guys yeah, want to should, talk about that? Should we run through that real quick just to give them a, a bit of a – Blow by blow, day by day. Do it. Hey, I'm not blowing anybody by. Well, I don't know. We'll what see. If somebody does, buys 100 does, tickets. Uh, <laughs> you can take that conversation up with Ryan with Kidmoto 22. At, Ryan's uh, new name is Hoover. Kingfish. Like the vacuum. Hoover. <laughs> <laughs> what hey, 100, 100 tickets is 100 tickets. 
<laughs> what so, up, yeah, so Ryan and I will be at uh, – we don't have a time yet, I don't think. Not to, Tony, Tony's going to come. Tony's going to be there. Tony's oh, going to be there. To Tony, so yep. Yep. me, Ryan, and Tony will be at Kingfish for lunch on Friday. Um, probably leaving from the Bluegrass dealership area, right? Probably. Or the probably. La Quinta. Yeah, probably La Quinta around. Yeah, we'll post in the Discord 10, about 10:30. that. Yep. And then we will go back. We will all ride back to Bluegrass on Friday for the 4 p.m. meet and greet with everybody coming in. Meet at, spelled M-E-A-T. M-E-M-T. <laughs> thank you very much. At Bluegrass Harley <laughs> Davidson. And that's Friday. That's Friday. And Who then the event Saturday. is noon to four on Saturday. So are we going to Yoki Buffet Friday night? No. No. No, no Yoki. You know what? I'm not going to any of your all's recommendations again. <laughs> We've well, already Claudius. we've already established that Andy and I are going to pick the smart choice, and you guys can do whatever you want. Yeah, I agree. What's the smart choice? Well, we haven't not, picked it yet. Not, not the Asian buffet. Not the Asian yeah. buffet. <laughs> <laughs> We're gonna pick a place that no one will have the shits afterwards. Wallace That's Station. That's our goal. Wallace Station. Well, we're gonna try we to do that. We could go to Sunday. Wallace Station. I don't know if that'll be Brit a good evening. No, they're not open. Brittany, I would it's say I would spot. say your track record at any restaurant that you don't get the shits at is probably pretty small. So I'll tell you what, man. There, <laughs> For one me, doesn't, I, one have you forgotten that me. I don't get the shits very frequently, Ryan? Mm. So I'm saying. saying that I got a 40 minute window no matter where I eat. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, Tony's it could be the one Dunkin with the donut. shits. I'm it the one that's matter. backed up. So what's what time and where Saturday? Noon Saturday to is four. noon to four. At Bluegrass Harley Davidson. Yep. And what will we have there? We'll have stuff and uh, like the There's whole shebang. I the whole shebanger. There should be a DJ. There's uh, going to be a hot dog stand. Cash bar. Uh, there's going to be a Cash bar. bar. Uh, some other uh, miscellaneous vendors, and I think they're even going to be having, having, even be having. I think they're even going to have a uh, an adoption thing set up for dogs, for puppies, mm. or Ryan. Yeah. Are they going to be wiener dogs? I don't know. Have to see. But yeah. at least Only that was ones. the plan. And well, I have more info on the neck as the as the FD unit gets closer. But that's what I have right now. Of yep. who's what's going to be there. And we will update. We we have a channel in the Discord um, for the event, so we'll be updating information there. Yeah. Things, so. Yeah. Things can change, people. So make sure yeah. join the Discord for all the latest news. Because sometimes we're so busy, we can't get to social media as quick as we can to Discord. Yeah. So yeah, if you're not part of the Discord, go over there and join it. It's fucking free. Free. And all the updates, itinerary stuff that we're doing, places that we're going, will all be on Discord for the whole and weekend. And speaking of, we haven't mentioned this in a while either. But uh, if you like what we're doing and you want to, and you feel like you would like to support what we do here uh at the five degree bikers podcast you can always join our patreon um you get exclusive access to episodes <clears throat> you guys are going to see firsthand at the meetup uh the new shirt designs because people will be receiving shirts um at fdbm uh, our patrons will be and so um you know if you feel like supporting what we do you could always go to our website at five degree bikers.com and there's a link to our Patreon on there. There's four different levels you could support however you like. We appreciate that. Uh, running this podcast is not free. Um, we do, um, <clears throat> you know, have to keep it going. You keep the lights on and everything. So your support is is greatly, greatly appreciated. Um, one of the biggest perks, I think best perks that if you ask the patrons that they've had the most fun with is <clears throat> the backstage pass. So once a month, um, our top tier patrons are invited to come on 30 minutes before. And I can tell you from firsthand, um, all of the people that have become, um, that are kind of in that group have actually become friends with most of us. Um, I would say at least half of them have my number, my own personal number. And I, and I DM or text, uh, with them, uh, quite often. Um, just because, you know, that's just how it lands, right? You become, uh, friends with, uh, the people that you, uh, have the most in common with and, and people that uh, are, are supporting what you're doing and, and you support them in their lives and everything else. So um, and buy some a, merch and buy some merch. Tony yeah. says it's, it, it's been a great, it's, it's a great experience. And, but I think that that uh, um, is valuable to the people 
that are a part of it because they're just they're able to make connections that uh, um, maybe you're not able to make through the Discord or other places. Well, and our patrons um, over the course of this last year were instrumental in us getting the bike project done. We, we could not have gotten this project done without the support that we were getting through the Patreon program, period. Absolutely, yeah. Big part of the village. And guys, remember, we got brand new shirts that will act as the FDBM meetup shirts. Go to 5 com. click on the merch store. They feature... In a way, all five of us and the Iron Head. The only one I can make out is Brittany. <laughs> yeah, she's got that red-ass hair. Yeah, it's the only one I can make out is Brittany. As far as I'm concerned, the other four could be there. I, I mean, you can make your you out. You, you're the one with the chiggers. Oh, yeah. <laughs> dude, I got them bad. <laughs> yeah, our shirts have that level of detail that you can see the chiggers on Tony's ass. Yeah. yeah. I just, like, so again, make sure I just you check out the merch. My balls. you got to have a shirt with that. <laughs> Nothing like an old chiggery ass. And, you know, we should have put Ryan's uh, on that shirt. It should have been something with Ryan having to go take a piss because of his tiny bladder. He should have been turned around <laughs> taking a piss on the steps. Yeah. yeah. Maybe that'll be our next piece. Or holding a sign going, I'll be right back. Yeah. The man squirts a lot of piss. With the, with the Yoki no buffet in the background. Hey, I'm, yeah, yeah, I am proud of Ryan because when we, we did three shows – in uh, no, we did four shows, four podcasts at the Iron Horse Inn in Sturgis. I don't recall one time where he didn't make it through, where he oh, didn't, yeah. oh, he where he didn't shit. get up. He held it. Yeah. Or, yeah or he or peed on the floor it. three times, but yeah, but he didn't get up to go to the bathroom. Bravo. Well, let me tell you what: as you get older, holding's not an option. This is true. <laughs> no. This is true. Fuck you, it's, fuck you, and fuck you. <laughs> Holding's not an what? option. Hold on, he older. actually complimented you, you this time. You didn't. Yeah, <laughs> I was. I was giving you a compliment. Yeah, I, I made going. it. I, I had drank two chiladas and I made it. I mean, all the way past. What an the hour, fuck's so. a chilada? Chodlada. Chodlada. Modella. Chodlada. Modella. It, well, it's, I, can, um, I can make a chode lotta for you. You know what it is, <laughs> no, Tony? Thanks. It, it's kind of like, did you what, back in the day, did you ever put tomato juice in your beer? No. Fuck no. <laughs> Why that, would you do that? That's what it is. Oh, my gosh. It's delicious. Are you what? kidding me? Oh, it's amazing. Was it a Bloody Harry? Oh, it's amazing. Yeah. It's called a chilada. It's like tomato juice and beer. It's no. The only thing delicious. I put in my tomato juice was vodka. There you go. <laughs> there you go. Bloody man. And a lot of it. <laughs> <laughs> fuck them olives. <laughs> yeah, fuck them olives. <laughs> fuck a, the a little bit stock. A little bit of uh, vodka with your tomato, or a little bit of tomato little, juice with your vodka. Yeah, exactly. Splash of tomato juice in that vodka and put a cheeseburger on top. I'm off to the race. <laughs> and a cheeseburger. Just enough to turn it red. <laughs> yep. Uh, Dude, if, if any of you want to come, come down here again, there's a place we got to go that's right outside of Carnival. Actually, a pretty nice little road. And it's, uh, what is it called? Uh, full throttle. It's a little hole in the wall shack place, like on the side of the highway out in the country. And they have a Bloody Mary that's about, I don't know, over a foot Podcast. tall. Podcast. Nobody really? can see over that. A foot, over a foot tall. And it's got sliders, chicken wings, you name it, it's on it's there. A, it's a truly Jeez. dressed out. It's a meal. It's a meal. Bloody Mary. The wow. bad thing was... The first one I ever got, which was the last one I ever got, had a nice curly or a nice curly pube on it. Ooh, that's extra. Gross. Was it yours? No. <laughs> oh yeah, not good. Which means so somebody I, I, served their drink, served his drink with their balls. So I, oh. Oh. Yeah, this, oh. man, there's a short and curly on your food. <laughs> that's Thanks. Gross. Right. The sad so part was I never tried the Bloody Mary. I ate all the food first and then saw it floating at the top. Got to make oh, it flat. Gross. So you got a mouthful of pube already. <laughs> there might have been a hair like coming pube. off the chicken. It could have been off the, the chicken. chicken. Yeah. No, see uh, what happened is somebody bat winged it. <laughs> yeah, yeah. They made it flat like paper. <laughs> oh boy. Somebody said I'm going to put a top on this bloody Mary. Uh, gross. A scrotal top. Yeah, like I said, they stirred. They used they used their swizzle stick to stir his drink. Well, you know, they could have made it a little tom tom too. You know what I mean? We're gonna turn this into a tom tom. Oh, 
Hmm. Nothing like the old scrotal skin Tom Tom. That look uh, on Brittany's no face right now is things. nothing but regret. She's <laughs> like, why did regret. I even show and up? Just another, just another regular <laughs> Monday night where I should have went to bed early. <laughs> <laughs> Mm-hmm. All right, so we're gonna we're gonna do something here before we log off. <coughs> we're gonna bat wing the cameras. <laughs> Fuck no! <laughs> Your first chiggers. <laughs> and that will be <laughs> the camera. We will be cutting that scene from the YouTube. Start calling you lumpy. Mm, man. Oh, the next episode of Count the Chiggers. Count the chiggers, man. One, ha, 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 ha. No, thanks. Two, ha, 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 ha. <laughs> uh, uh, uh. Listen, Count Chocula. <laughs> Chocula. Count Chilada. Count Chilada. <laughs> oh, man. What are we doing? What are we, we going to do, Dustin? Hold on, hold on. Yeah, I'm waiting. Don't rush greatness. Mm. We will. Listen. He's gonna. All of a sudden, it's just gonna be a huge ball sack that just pops up on the screen. <laughs> the stroke cone. <laughs> hey, no, that's Tony. Takes a lot of work to move. take out the parachute, fellas. Mm. All right. The, the escape hatch. <laughs> All right. Here's what we're gonna do. Now, here, here is the five part of the five dirty. Oh, we're gonna New assign it design. to everyone. We're gonna assign everybody. Well, Let's Mappy's go. definitely Mine's in the middle. Mine's pretty obvious. I think the top left is Tony with the blue shirt and the hat. I was going to pick a bald one, but they're all bald. Yeah, but he always has bald. a hat on. But yeah. Tony always has a hat on. Yeah, that's on. that's Tony. Tony's hmm. got the hat. Okay. The so. other ones are... Because see, he's standing on a box. See see how much high... His knees are up to Ryan's waist. I almost, told the, the I almost told the guy to put an ascot on one of them. <laughs> I don't know, Dave. Dave oh, wait, I think there is. The dude with the red shirt, look up. He's got stripes on his collar. He's got an ascot yeah. on. That one's got to be know, Dave. Might. The lower left? Top, What's top, that? Right. No, top, top right. Top right with the oh, red shirt. The red no. See the stripes? You I think know, he's you're got right. an ascot on. That's not on. an ascot. That's, that's the thing I wear that goes around your neck. Mm-hmm. I think an that's ascot. Dave. Well, who's Dave, wearing the blazer? Dave's got the red shirt. That's well, the tough one. I'm the I only other know. one that wears a hat on a on a regular basis. That I know. That's the thing. And there I'm not and the, and that skull is not smiling. So that was kind of the assumption I made was that one was probably me. With the well, hat on. Bot- okay. The bottom with the hat left? on with the holding the number five, not smiling. Okay. Justin's so the one Dustin, smiling, you're, looking up. You're the one with the baseball bat. He's, hey. holding, the, he's holding the pimp cane, is what I think. Dustin, <laughs> you're the only one that doesn't have any color. I'm laughing at a Tony joke. Yeah, looking. He's looking at Tony like, look at <laughs> that like motherfucker. That. Yeah, yeah, those, those are my heat wave sunglasses. Bat. Those are my heat waves. Yeah, mm-hmm. yeah. There I we go. You. Percy's up of... there with cocksucker's cramp. <laughs> 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 what? <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah. He also looks like I'm smiling. He also looks like the oldest with that uh, with that Elvis jacket on. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, see, it's all they're already assigned. It was easy. It yeah. was easy. That was much easier than Ryan. I you look like you're about to pour drinks like at the overlook. Stain on his pants. <laughs> <laughs> what? <laughs> there is like a little bit of brown <laughs> yellow right over there. the pants. Yeah, look at that. Look at that old man pee stain. That's Ryan. Oh my god, that's, that's, that's that, that tall motherfucker's Ryan. <laughs> that's not. He's not you, tall though. Look at the one he's with the blue on, shirt. The guy in the red is like is, crouching. Yeah. The, the guy in the red is like standing on a box. <laughs> and he pissed his pants. He's like four <laughs> steps up. You can tell the dude to hold the number five. You can tell he's tall because if he stood up, he'd be just as tall as the guy with the blue shirt on. <laughs> That's three <laughs> steps up. <laughs> <laughs> well, well, all you guys can tongue punch my I'll go fuck off. <laughs> <laughs> This is this design is really good. Uh, I, the shirt is is one of my favorites that we've done. Yeah, uh, I still no, need to get myself a, one. Yeah, this yep. is good. get get your shirt ordered because it's a it's a good one. I will say this: the fucking it's a little glitchy on the phone. You got to buy them on on a on a computer. Yeah, you do. You do. Yeah, it, it, the phone the phone's a little bit a little. It's sketchy. a little glitchy. Yeah. I but I will say this: I got the got new, I got the new shirts fast. I got them in in like ten days. So, yeah, I got. There's mine still time to order your five hundred biker shirt and have it before the meetup. <laughs> I yep. got mine in my bag, all packed and ready to go. 
And there's plenty of schmedium sizes for Tony. Schmediums. <laughs> yep. Get your schmedium. Yep, get your schmedium <laughs> on. Cocksucker's cramp. <laughs> <laughs> this is a good one. <laughs> All right, we calling this thing? We're yeah. calling it. Yeah. Brittany, sign us off. Oh, shit. <laughs> <laughs> you always ask me, and I always do a terrible I like job. Putting, I like putting you on the spot to watch you fuck That's up. That's cruel. The fuckery. We're not friends anymore, Dustin. How could the you do that? The fuck show of fuckery is happening. If you, can, if you can dip your head into a paint can, you can do this sign off. No oh, shit. <laughs> a paint can? I don't use paint. She's down at Sherwin-Williams doing handstands. That would walk right <laughs> out. <laughs> <laughs> mm. I'd like fire engine red, please. Don't worry. Just, <laughs> exactly. Just just open the can. I'll take care of the rest. <laughs> <laughs> All right, everyone. Thank you again for joining in to the Five Dirty Bikers podcast. Until next time. Good night.